Okay, this is actually pretty fun now. <laughs> that you can actually play on the Steam Deck. Okay. okay. There's some hope for this. Huh. Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is silent. I am not. Today, we're going to be checking out Black Myth Wukong on the Steam Deck. Now, as of right now, it does say it's unsupported, but I have been playing a little bit of it on the Steam Deck. But you should see how the game plays before you make your judgment call of whether you should buy it or not. So you, you're probably watching this video thinking, well, Samuel, should I buy this game if I only have a Steam Deck or should I not? Well, let's dive on into the game and I'll show you what we have and how the game plays. So far, I've really been playing this on a PC, but you know, some people do want to play it on a Steam Deck and they want to see, well, does it actually work or does it not work? Well, I'm about to find out and I'm about to show you. So let's dive on in. And as always, I'm, well, not always, as most of the time, I, I am using my uh, DS5 controller. I do like the feel of this and I like the grip. And also sometimes it does have the, uh, the nice triggers that uh, Sony games have sometimes. So, let's show you what happens here. Make sure it's all loaded up. And I do have this installed on the SSD internal drive. So, just to let you all know. I have pretty much max settings. Okay, I'm gonna do a new journey for the time being, just to show you all how it works. But so far the game, I really enjoy the game. I really enjoy the scenery, I enjoy seeing the 3D models, how it's made. It's just a tremendously beautiful game that I think everyone should have an opportunity to play at least once in their life. It doesn't feel like Souls-like, but at the same time, it feels like it's old school hard, where it's not quite uh, from software's Dark Souls or Elden Ring, but it, it does offer a little bit challenging. So if anyone ever remembers playing uh, Maximo on the PS2, yeah. This is the intro scene. This is kind of like the tutorial before you actually get into the game. Yeah, let me show you what's going on here. frame drops right there. And it really is like this because it's rendering in real time. It's not an actual uh, cutscene. I am going to start to skip this a little bit, just to get into the action. Okay, now that we can get into some of the settings here, let's go back to two. 
And let's show what my display is. Borderless automatic ratio. I mean, pretty much 16 to nine. Um, display resolution. I can go a little bit smaller. Frame rate cap, 60. Turn it off. Uh, graphics. Gonna shut this down to 50. It's not gonna look the best. Let's do this low, low. Let's put everything as low. Let's apply that. So we get a little over 30 now. So let's try to get closer to 30. I'm going to increase super resolution 60. Let's play with some of the settings again.
Okay, this is the one where you get sent down to Earth. And then a legend begins, and this ends the tutorial. So now you're actually the main character now. Now my other save, I did beat chapter one. I think I'm just starting chapter two now. I'll wait till this is finished loading. But yeah, as you can see, it the frame rate fluctuates crazily. It's a beautiful game, don't get me wrong, it is. And when you can actually play the game, it's fine, it's it's pretty fun. But as you can probably see here when I get into the game, the frames kinda drops. Oh, actually getting seventy. Wow, that's really good actually. Because of my other save, I wasn't getting that kind. Huh. Let me go back to my other save I have and see if I can kind of show you what I'm dealing with so far. Later on in the game. Because even though it might show a high frame rate for just the first part of the chapter one, when I was playing it the other day, it wasn't showing that. It was pretty low frame rate. But maybe I found a setting that actually kind of worked for this. So let's uh, let's see what I got. And maybe just a minute. Oh. Okay, it's actually doing a whole lot better than it was earlier. Huh. That's great. Can't really get to that guy. Crazy. Whatever. I feel like I should be able to. I don't know why I can't. 
Oh, there you go. Payback time. Okay, this is actually pretty fun now. <laughs> that you can actually play on the Steam Deck. Okay, okay. There's some hope for this. I think I can jump there. Well, okay, yeah, as you all can see, this is running pretty decently on a Steam Deck. I'm genuinely surprised. Because before I made the video, it wasn't like that. And earlier in the week when I was playing this, it was running pretty bad. But now, solid 75 frames per second. Oh my gosh, this is this is great. At least let me show you the graphics I have right now. Maybe you can kind of replicate this if you're having issues. And no, I'm not using any kind of Proton compatibility. So display language, uh, display, borderless, automatic, 1280 by 800, frame rate cap of 60, though I'm still getting more than 60. V sync off, of course. Graphics, um, right now it's 54, seems like FSR on, ray tracing off, everything low. <laughs> I mean, now that everything's running about 70 frames per second, I could probably start to tweak this a little bit if I wanted more battery life but honestly you're really this this is low settings this looks great at low settings in a portable setting so i think if you're trying to worry if you're worried about the graphics looking good or bad honestly this is looking good even at low settings so this is a, a remarkable improvement i think So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. I couldn't do it without you. Um, that will probably wrap up this video. And I want to say, 
if you want to get Black Myth Wukong on the Steam Deck and only had a Steam Deck, try it out. Go for it. Um, if you buy it through Steam, you could probably still get a refund within a few hours if it doesn't work to your liking. If you if it does work and you like it, support the developers and try it out. I think anyone who likes action games like uh, the Devil May Cry, uh, Cry series, uh, maybe Monster Hunter, um, of course the Souls-like series, and the any kind of Chinese mythology, I think you'll really like this game. So definitely go ahead and check this out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, notification bell. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, comment below your favorite part of the video, and you know, like, follow, do all that fun stuff. I hope you have a great and awesome day, and uh, as a Chinese say, Zaijian. Take care.